everyone, this is Brian with ETS, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure implicit deny firewall rules. Yes, it is possible, and this works across all Cisco Meraki firewall products. Let's get started. So one of the weird quirks about Meraki is a VLAN cannot route to the internet unless there is an allow rule with the de destination set to any. This is why by default, you're going to see allow default any, 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 Without this, the VLAN cannot reach WAN. The challenge is, let's say you wanted to add implicit deny rule and block all enter VLAN routing. You come in here, you create your rule, and then you go save. The challenge is, because that does not exist as a VLAN currently, it airs out. So here's how we're going to get around that. Head over to Teleworker Gateway or SD WAN and Security and go to Addressing the VLANs. And here's how I like to set up my firewall rules. We always use the default VLAN as a public or internet only VLAN. Um, I do not like using this as the private. And so what you do is you set up three different VLANs here that cover all of the three subnets. Uh, so then I would go in here and let's just say this is private. And we're going to call this VLAN 10. And we're going to give it 10.10.1.1. With a subnet of 10, 10, 1, 0, slash 24. I'm going to disable IPv6. Create that. And I'm going to create one more VLAN. And we're going to call this Meraki infrastructure. We'll call it VLAN 4000. And we're going to do 172.16.30.1. And dot 0, slash 24. We're going to disable IPv6 update hit save okay basically now that we have all these vlans created and they go across the a b and c subnets you can now create the firewall rules but first head over to organization and go to policy objects and we're going to go ahead and create these so object one we're going to call this class a and pull that up here so 10.0.0.0 slash 8. Then we're going to do class B. 172.16.0.0 slash 12. And we're going to do class C. Slash 16. So here's your class A, class B, class C networks. We're going to go to group. And we're going to create a new group and call it implicit deny. And I'm going to add these in here. So there's class A, class B, class C. And we're going to hit create group. Okay, so now that group's created, we're going to head back over into Teleworker Gateway or if you have the MX uh, security and SD-WAN and go to firewall. And now we're going to head over to the outbound firewall rules and we're going to go add. And right above this, we're going to add the implicit deny. And we're going to go any and choose the group. Hit finish and save. Essentially what this just did now is any internal network routing is denied by default. So the only way that your printers, or probably a better example, your private can communicate to printers or private to private can work, is you have to now allow it above this rule. So here's what that would look like. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is allow, and we're gonna call it Meraki to all. And then we're gonna do uh, the Meraki infrastructure, which is what? that VLAN to any. And this actually wants to be your top rule to ensure that the Meraki tools, the pinging, um, all the tools that it's built into the dashboard won't work unless this is set up. Um, so now that it's the top rule, let's say you want to add another rule. You go, okay, well, I also want to add and allow private to private. So you would come in here and you would hit any and you would do private. To private. Hit finish editing and hit save. 
So what this is telling us now is Meraki can work to all because we want the dashboard tools to work. Private can communicate to private, but anything else is denied by default. This is so powerful. Let's say that you're creating a new VLAN or one of your IT admins is creating a new VLAN. If you don't have this implicit deny rule set up, every single time a new VLAN is created, your IT admin is going to have to remember to deny access. It's a very backwards way of thinking. It opens you up to human error. It's much easier and simpler if you just do an implicit deny and then above that implicit deny, allow the VLANs which you want to communicate. Thanks for watching. And if you have any more questions about Cisco Meraki firewall rules, uh, feel free to drop a comment and we will do our best to respond. Have a good day.